All right, so if you have kids, you know how fast they grow out of everything. And it can be really expensive to just change over their entire wardrobe every couple of months. And that's why selling kids clothes on Poshmark can be a great way to make a side income. Hi, my name is Eileen. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I'm a mom, an entrepreneur, and on this channel, I talk all about entrepreneurship, working from home, having online businesses, reselling, and hopefully inspire others to do the same. Today I'm gonna to talk about selling kids clothes on Poshmark. First I wanna say if you are not already signed up for Poshmark, you can use my referral code right here, it's just my name, Eileen Barker, and you'll get a $10 credit off of your first purchase through Poshmark, which is a really great way to make your first purchase and save a lot of money on Poshmark, especially if you're looking for kids clothes, you can um, get a $10 discount on your first purchase. If you haven't signed up, go ahead and sign up for Poshmark, use my code, and come back to the video. Now a lot of people shy away from kids clothes for several reasons, but kids clothes can be a good way to make a side income on um, Poshmark and let me just go over the pros and cons for you really quick. So some of the pros for selling kids clothes on Poshmark are that kids are always growing so people always need kids clothes. The second thing is that people really want to save money on their kids clothes since they're buying them all the time so saving money by buying secondhand um, on apps like Poshmark is always a win. The third thing is that you can source kids clothes for really cheap. I during yard sale season, I can usually get kids clothes for 50 cents or even cheaper, um, depending on the yard sale. And if you run across a good yard sale, you can get a huge bag or box of kids clothes for really cheap. One time I bought, I want to say it was close to 150 or 200 pieces of kids clothes for like 70 bucks. And it was all really adorable baby girl clothes. And I was able to lot them up and make a decent amount of um, profit on those. So kids clothes can be really cheap, especially at yard sales and thrift stores. And the fourth thing is that people are usually looking for multiple items in one size because their kids are growing and they need to replace all of their t-shirts and all of their pants and all of their shorts. So they're usually looking to buy a lot all at once. So selling kids clothes is great for bundling. Now there are some cons for selling kids clothes and one of them is that um, kids clothes aren't as valuable, they're not as profitable, you can't usually make as much per item on kids clothes. And the second thing to note is that kids are a lot more harsh on their clothes than we are, so there are going to be a lot of kids items that you find that have damage, so it's really important to check them over before buying them to make sure they don't have holes or stains, um, just because kids are messy and clumsy. Now, how much do kids clothes sell for? It honestly depends. There are pieces that probably sell in the hundreds, but that's pretty rare, especially for kids' clothes. Um, so I would say that most kids' clothes are gonna sell in the $5 to $15 range. Um, some stuff can be a little bit higher than that, but unless you're finding really, really high-end items, or even brands like Gap or um, Hannah Anderson that are new with tags, you can get a little bit more than that, but um, I would plan on getting selling items between the $5 and $15 range for the most part. Now, how do you figure out what to price your kids' clothes at? So what you wanna do is you want to see what other people are selling them for, and um, you can just go into Poshmark, um, search for the brand and the type that you have, and go down um, in the filter to sold, and see what other people have sold those items for. There are always going to be people that have sold it for really, really, really cheap, so kind of look for the middle ground. Um, you wanna be competitive, but you don't wanna be giving your stuff away. Now, how much does it cost to sell on Poshmark? On Poshmark, they charge 20% of the selling price unless the item is under $15. So if you sold something for $20, let's say, um, you would pay 20%, so they would take four of that, those dollars. If it's $15 or under, they take $2.95. So if you sell something for $5, they take $2.95. If you sell something for $14, they take $2.95. Now how does shipping work? On Poshmark, the buyer pays for the label unless you offer them a shipping discount, which you can if you send an offer to Likers. But either way, whether you offer them free shipping or discounted shipping or the buyer just pays full shipping, Poshmark will provide you with the label correctly addressed for your buyer. So all you have to do is print it out and put it on the package and mail it out. Because Poshmark uses um, USPS priority mail for everything, you can get free priority mail shipping supplies through their website. I'll link to that below. Or you can just Google USPS priority mail free supplies or something along those lines and it'll pop up. Um, and you can use any of their free priority mail supplies for Poshmark because all of their shipping labels are priority labels. You can also get really cute poly mailers, um, which are just basically plastic mailer bags that have cute prints on them. Um, if you wanna go that route instead. So there are a lot of different ways you can ship your items, but either way, you're going to be printing a label from Poshmark directly. So you're going to need either a label printer or just a regular printer. 
and then you'll just um, tape that label onto your package. Do keep in mind that if you are um, doing bundles or heavier items, the limit on the label that Poshmark automatically generates for you is five pounds. And if you need a heavier label, you need to upgrade that and it is pretty expensive. So I recommend not um, selling anything over five pounds unless it's pretty valuable. Now I'm not gonna go over all of the Poshmark beginner stuff um, because I do have a video on that. If you want to check that out, I'll link to that for you. It tells you everything you need to know as a new um, Poshmark seller. I just wanna go over kind of the basics for selling kids clothes specifically for you so that you can um, get an idea of what you can sell things for and how much money you can make. So here are my tips for selling kids clothes on Poshmark. My first tip is to list several sizes at once. So if you have a big pile of kids clothes and you're maybe not going to list them all today, go ahead and pick out the similar sizes. If you have sizes ranging from baby to like size eight in a kid size, um, go ahead and list maybe like baby through toddler if you can because people are going to be shopping for their kids for certain sizes and they're going to be looking for similar sizes to bundle together. So if you have a lot of similar sizes, try listing them all at once so you have them all available for when someone finds one item. If they go over to your closet, hopefully they can um, sort by size and find all the other items that you have available within that size. I know that when I'm shopping on Poshmark for kids clothes, I want to buy several items that are the same size. So I'm looking for closets that have like at least five or 10 or 15 items within a certain size um, so that I can buy my son or daughter a bunch of stuff all at once rather than picking one thing at a time and paying shipping on several items. Also make sure you always respond to comments pretty quickly. People will ask questions and usually people that ask questions are relatively serious. Maybe they will buy your item, maybe they won't, but if they are interested and you don't reply, they're suddenly not interested anymore. But one thing to keep in mind is that people can see your comments. So if somebody else a month later comes and looks at your listing and sees that you're not communicating with your buyers and you're just ignoring their questions, um, that's a turnoff as well. So make sure you're always answering your comments. Even if it's a quick question or it's something that's already in the listing, go ahead and respond really politely because other buyers can see your comments as well. And they'll definitely notice if you're not responding at all. Make sure to share your items often. This is just a general Poshmark tip. I recommend sharing your items at least once a day um, to kind of bump them up. When people search, it automatically searches by the just shared um, filter. So anything that has been shared most recently will be at the very top. So if you share at least once or twice a day, you'll have a better chance of people seeing your item. Also try to keep your best items at the top of the page so that when someone clicks into your closet, they're seeing some of your best items. Um, best is kind of relative. So go ahead and decide for yourself what you think is best. Maybe it's your nicer items. Maybe it's the more on trend items. Maybe it's um, the items. So right now it's almost summer. Maybe it's summer items so people can see those. Um, go ahead and just feature the items that you think people will be most interested in at the top of your closet so that they stick around and maybe scroll through the rest. And then also know how to do bundles. So if someone goes through and likes four or five of your items, know how to put that into a bundle so that you can send them an offer on all those items and hopefully make a larger sale. Some buyers will like a bunch of items and then kind of forget that they liked them or not realize that they like so many items from you. So if you go ahead and send them an offer on that bundle, um, there's a chance that they might buy it and you make that sale. So those are my tips for selling kids clothes on Poshmark. While I do think it would be hard to make maybe a full-time income selling kids clothes on Poshmark, just because they do sell at lower prices, it is a great way to make extra money, especially if you're already out going to yard sales or your kids are already growing their own clothes out and you wanna go ahead and sell those and replace their clothes. Um, People are always buying kids clothes. They're always growing. Unlike us, we usually generally stay the same size as adults. So um, we are buying clothes more because we want to, but with kids, you have to keep buying them clothes. So people are always looking for kids clothes and they're always looking for good deals. So selling kids clothes on Poshmark can be a great way to make some extra money. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. It lets YouTube know that this was a good video and shows it to other people. And if you like this video and would like to see more from me, you can go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, always comment below. I try to respond to all my comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.